Hey there and good day. My name is Alex. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create a Microsoft Azure lab. This is a, a question that I get a lot by my students in my Azure classes. How do I get started with Azure without having to pay any or too much money and still learn using Microsoft Azure? So in this session, I want to take you through the steps, the absolutely beginner steps of getting started with Microsoft Azure. So what we'll do is we will be starting by connecting to this portal uh, called azure.microsoft.com. This is where you have an option to try Azure for free. If you click that button, you can then go in and choose the start free option, or you can choose for pay as you go. If you choose the start free option, this is where you will be making sure that you will get a couple of credits to play around with Azure, see if it's something for you, but for study purposes, just find and enough money to get you through an entire course. For example, if you would be running the AZ 104, which is the Azure administration course, then you will just get enough money to play around with the, with the solutions proposed in that course. So you can click the start free button if you want to get some credits to get started with, temporarily be usable, or you can make use of the pay as you go model. Uh, in this case, you will just pay for your resources. However, there is not an ending date to your subscription. It just goes as far as your credit card can hold this. I'm going to choose start free here, and this will take me to the environment where I can start create signing in into Microsoft Azure. For here, what you could do is just pretend you do not have a Microsoft account yet. Let's just go and create one. And this allows you to create a Microsoft account. Uh, you can even choose to go and get a new email address. So from here I can go and let's say I'm going to do the uh, ADA uh, 2312 um, and then something with Azure at Outlook.com as this is going to be a temporary account. I can just create an Outlook account that I'm well, not too protective about. Then, oh, as you can see, I am apparently not the first one trying to do this. So maybe I want to be looking at something more, well, personalized. So I'm going to do 2312, ADA, Azure, demo. Maybe this is something I could be using. And apparently, oh, it has to start with a letter. Then let's take something else. So we're going to do the Azure 2312 demo for now. And also here, I have a couple of issues creating this account. So maybe the system says that we do need some kind. Ah, probably the word Azure is not allowed here. Hmm. I learned something new today. Um, also here, I want to be using a password. Obviously, we have to make up a, a proper password to uh, to get a secure environment um, we can set up some some information about ourselves in my case I want to do a couple of things um, do not think too much about the actual values here um, and this is creating the account apparently we have to uh, prove that we are not a robot which is uh, obviously super annoying, but hey, we are here now. So uh, the Outlook account is being created as part of the steps that we need to take to get uh, started with Azure here. So again, apparently uh, solving one puzzle is not enough. Let's solve another one. Let's see if Microsoft is happy with this now. We are very, very curious about that, obviously. Um, so here we are. We now are being brought back to the to the Azure sign up page. 
So I want to go and say Alex de Jong, my email address. Um, we can enter the phone number. We have to do this because otherwise we will, uh, we will not be able to sign in properly and we will get a verification code. So let's see if Microsoft is willing to send me one. Yes, here we are. So I'm going to go with 959624. Verify my code. It wants all kind of information from me. Uh, let's just put in the, uh, the values. We are going to agree to stuff, but we don't want to receive many things. Um, and now we can see that the mechanism is getting started. Now, as part of your Azure journey, um, you will, because I signed up for free for a free trial, this means that I will have to provide um, a, uh, a credit card number anytime soon here. Uh, the reason is that, um, well, Microsoft will, wants to allow you to, when you are done with these, uh, when you're done with, with, the, with the credits you get from Microsoft, uh, you could move this towards a pay-as-you-go account. So in here, you will actually have to enter the credit card information. Um, once that is done, we can be moving forward. So here I am. I have now entered the credit card information um, and the account is being set up. So are we satisfied with the experience so far? I think I am. Um, we can then submit this. The setting up your account will uh, keep on rolling for another minute. And then once everything is done here, you are now ready to start with your Azure environment. Um, what you can do is go to the Azure portal. This will bring you to portal.azure.com. And this is where you can get started. So, and what is quite nice now is that there is a getting started checklist. So here we have step-by-step um, -step guides to take you through the absolute basics. Um, that is one option. Or you can just click the Microsoft Azure tile here in the top and this will just take you to the Azure portal. Here we are. So don't worry about that credit card. The credit card will not be charged unless you are actively going to allow it. It's just an easy setup for Microsoft to verify that you are not a fake account or a, uh, or a bot registering for their solutions. Um, but they will never be, never ever be uh, credited. Uh, they will not take anything from your credit card. One thing that you may want to check once you have been signed in successfully here, uh, you can go in and search in the search bar in the top, you can go for subscriptions. And here we can see that there is one Azure subscription now, which is active. There is no current cost. So we can now see the, uh, we can see that there is nothing in here, but we do have uh, an owner permission. Please make sure to write down your your sign-in name, because this is going to allow you to sign back in into your Azure portal and your Azure subscription. So with this, we do now have the, uh, the Azure environment up and running. That's how easy it is. So, um, well, happy learning. Um, hopefully, you have found this small tutorial useful to get started with the absolute first steps in Azure. Um, and if you like this, please subscribe to my channel because there will be way more Azure related videos for you to join. Um, and for now, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.